This is your host, Paula Dean, and oh. I am her guest, Bobby Dean. It's good to be with y'all. I'm today. the guest my, in your house. My mom <laughs> has a beautiful magazine. If you're not familiar with it, it's called Cooking with Paula. Honk, honk. And it's got all kinds of great uh, pictures. Pictures. <laughs> I love recipes picture. Recipes and stuff. I love it. picture books. But one of my favorite parts of it is if you get back here to the um, lighten <laughs> the it up section. with Bobby. <laughs> Bobby lightens it up. Um, this yes, month. We did a show making this recipe right here, Bobby, earlier. Mm -hmm. And, and um, now we're going to make the next recipe, which is shrimp and sweet potato stir fry. Something about this recipe. All right. These recipes that you'll see me share with you are simple. They're light. They're inexpensive. And they are um, great recipes to share with your family. I think that you'll have a, uh, yes. a very satisfied household. Yes. Um, again, very easy. So let's that get started great, the the bank the money bank and it doesn't break the time bank absolutely true so, um i like to uh to use fresh ingredients when i can and occasionally i'll use cans and can ingredients if i've got to whatever the situation may be but i've uh, started with one large sweet potato okay and we've just cut it and and we've got it into just uniform shapes here you see how we've cut it and i put this into a um saucepan uh and covered it with water and boiled it for about two minutes until it was just tender. That was the first step in the recipe. So the sweet potatoes are just tender and the recipe, the rest of the recipe is gonna to come together really quick. Okie so dokie. Let's get our skillet. So you, you did, you did pour par, par boil the sweet the, potatoes. Par boil the sweet potato and I'm gonna heat some oil in a okay. large. Well, your pot is not on, I turned it off. Well, let me tell you something. Okay. <laughs> tell me something, Bobby Dean. Good grief. <laughs> I always You put, are not too big for me to put you over my knee and spank you. All right. So <laughs> I always pour my oils into a cold pan. I don't ever pull, pour really? oil Why? into a hot pan. Because um, I don't like to scorch it. I don't okay. like for it to be to pop and immediately be okay. fire hot. I turn I turn most of the things that I cook on a stovetop. I uh, start on a real low with a simmer or or on low just mm. to just to get the pan ready to receive and whatever. It isn't is that I'm funny? Cooking. We've all got our but, ways because I like a hot hot. Well, depending like on pour what I put. Oil into a hot 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 pan. Well, no, I get the oil hot. I, I just like depending on what I'm cooking. If I got cooking meats, I like it pretty high. Right. But this is not my recipe. It's my precious little boys. Man, my 50, boy, man, my man. 50, 51 in April. <laughs> Precious little boy. boy. Well, son, if as long as I call you a boy. All right, so. That makes mama a I've girl. Got one purple <laughs> onion. Yes. All right. Did you have, you put some all in it, That's son? It. I wasn't listening. They're <laughs> with me. I know, but I wasn't listening. I think about something else. Okay, let's look at the recipe. I don't want to look at the recipe. I've read your recipes. It's a beautiful recipe. Yes. Started out with the I sweet like potato it. in a medium saucepan. We boiled the sweet potato, just kind of a far boil. Yeah. And in a small bowl, bowl we're going to whisk together some cornstarch. Mama, this is you. Okay, and we some have teriyaki a small bowl. Sauce. Like have a small bowl. Hold on, okay. Right there. Perfect. Oh, no, you got a glass bowl right there. Even better. Oh, no, I, I love those little plastic bowls. I'm just. Uh, unwrapping your shrimp, son. We are going to. These are beautiful. Whisk sweet. together three quarters of a cup of teriyaki sauce. Well, I was going to take them out of. Okay. And All right, some, is this cornstarch? Corn okay. right. Okie dokie. I'll be doing that for you. And we've got garlic and uh, chipotle. That's right. But we're going to add those to the skillet. Okay. Oh, so, the, yeah. the chipotle. You're just, gonna, you're just gonna whisk together the cornstarch and the teriyaki sauce. Okay, gotcha. And then we'll add the uh, the rest to the skillet. Okay. Nothing like the smell of onions and a little bit of oil on the stove top. They just immediately smell. You know, Bobby. Great. <laughs> you could dice up some bacon and onions and put them on your stove, and there's not a better house deodorant than that. Mm -hmm. It smells wonderful. Okay, so this is mixed up, son. So uh, your 
onions are going pretty yep. pretty good so over we're, here. So we're going to add in the sweet potato. Okay. All right. And the chipotle season and the garlic. Now that chipotle, that's a little hot, isn't it? It's, uh, I like it. To me, it's not hot. It's more flavorful than hot yeah. to me. I, I like it. All right. Now when you add your garlic down. Garlic uh, burns. Garlic bones. Show sure does. So we want to make sure we watch that. There's your wooden spoon if you yeah, I prefer it. Worry that is about a, it. a beautiful combination of ingredients. I know, and sweet it's potatoes. So and your babies love sweet potatoes. They do. So if you fix something like this for them, you might want to back off on the chipotle. I, I don't think that I, I, I think that I would, um, I would rearrange this dish for them. Yeah. I think okay. I would leave out the onion and the chipotle. I don't know. Cloud Cloud uh, gives them onions. So if you could smell this dish, if Mama mentioned bacon earlier, that chipotle, together with the onion and the garlic, it almost does have a little bit of a of a bacony smell oh, to incredible. it. Incredible. It just smells so, so nice. So again, um, to recap, we parboiled the sweet potatoes, okay? So uh -huh. they weren't just raw. Mm -hmm. We boiled them in a saucepan for about three covered minutes. Covered with water. Covered with water and a little sea salt. And um, just parboiled them for about three minutes and got them nice and tender. Okay, we added, step? we added we uh, added canola oil. We're using canola, not uh -huh. olive. We added canola uh -huh. oil to a skillet and heated it up. And then we added the uh, purple onion, put uh -huh. the sweet potato back in. We added a little bit of uh, garlic, some chipotle, and um, what am I missing? The chipotle and um, well, that's all we've added so yeah, far. Soy sauce yeah. and cornstarch. Yeah, that's right. Chipotle. Onions and garlic. The slurry, that's right. There you go. All right, so what do you, what do you add next? Son? Let's go ahead and add in um, the pineapple. Okay. You want it all? Mm-hmm, let's have it. And now I use, if you can this get it. This is such a beautiful combination right here. Yeah, sweet potatoes and pineapple. And something that you want to, yeah, there you go. Use that, that rubber I spoon. I say, yeah. So you don't tear up your uh, sweet potato or your pineapple. You yeah. don't want this to be a pulpy mess. You want everything no. to to remain intact. So yeah. um, try to fold these ingredients together rather than, you know, all right. try to avoid mashing. Let's see, all we have to do now is cook the shrimp, right? That's it, and we'll add the slurry in. So uh, the shrimp we'll put in for the last couple of minutes. Oh, okay, well I just started putting them in. Add the um, teriyaki mixture in. Okay. So how many ever people you're cooking for y'all would determine uh, how much shrimp and potato that you would use. All right, let's let that cook just a minute. Before okay. it slowly. Yeah. Now you could add in, if you wanted to, you could wait and add in the pineapple until the end. Um, you could sort of do this in whatever order that you wanted to, but yeah. one thing that I would make sure to do is I would add the shrimp in the last couple of minutes because and you don't want to- your recipe calls to add them at first. It's not but, exactly. It's not exactly right. I, yeah. Anybody who knows shrimp knows that you don't want to overcook it. You don't yeah. want it to be rubbery, and, and yeah. you don't want it to go to waste. So add those shrimp in when you've only got a couple of minutes left yes. in your dish, and uh, the pineapple too. You can leave that pineapple out and only cook yes. it for a minute or so if you wanted to. So let's pour that slurry in there that you made with the teriyaki and the cornstarch. Okay. Starch, okay. And uh, and let that roll for a couple of minutes. Okay. And this is, we're almost, we're almost ready here. I so know. one of the, uh, the common thread with all the recipes that you're going to see me share with you here on Mama Show is that they're going to be simple, okay, and to the point. Uh -huh. They're going to be, most usually they'll be inexpensive. Uh, the ingredients will all be things that you can find in your local grocery store, so they won't be complicated. And they'll definitely be affordable dishes. The most expensive thing here is the, uh, is the shrimp. But you know what? Shrimp. We talk about this all the time. We're so fortunate to live here in beautiful Savannah, Georgia, yes. and we have access to great yes. local seafood, and shrimp is yes. plentiful here for us. But you could always substitute chicken. Of course, yes. Yeah. You could use chicken, or if there, was, if you had a favorite kind of fish, you could, uh, like a white fish that uh, that you could do in, um, like, like I'm thinking maybe like flounder, you know what I mean? Something that you could have in sort of pieces. Mm-hmm. Uh, the tilapia, of course, would work. Tuna, 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 that work, yeah. 
But you know, the key is to just use your imagination and do whatever you like. If you if you make a recipe and it doesn't turn out, well then you know, try again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this is gonna turn out. Yes, that's gonna turn out. Yeah, yeah this rag is sitting right here waiting on you. All right. I think so. we had a little green. I know, I know. Usually your recipes have some kind of green in them, but we should have uh, have a little cilantro to top this with, which is green. Or a but parsley. we don't. We parsley don't. Yeah, we do, parsley, yeah. but chipotle. I mean, uh, hot, hot, hot. What am hot, I trying hot. to say? I just said it. Very hot. Very, very hot. Cilantro. cilantro. Look at that beautiful would, would dish. Give you the green. This is. Beautiful, it's Bobby. Gorgeous. Now, to be completely honest, we added a pat of butter right there at the last <laughs> minute, and that might have added a little Bobby, bit of extra seasoning I you and said a little golden jail. brown. Well, I didn't mind you doing it. Oh, I didn't either. Life is about compromise, and sometimes you got to add yes. a little butter. Yes. But look how nice now. So. Yes. Let's recap Let it, all clean right? Clean my plate. I took one sweet potato and cut it into small little quarter inch uh -huh. um, cubes and we parboiled it in a saucepan, just slightly covered with water and a little sea salt. We boiled it for about three minutes just to kind of soften it up. Uh -huh. Then in a large skillet, a little bit of canola oil and we added the sweet potatoes back into uh -huh. the pan. Um, after after purple onion, sorry, I forgot purple onion. So purple onion, then we added the sweet potatoes back in and we added in uh, a can of pineapple, diced mm -hmm. pineapple. Pineapple tidbits. Pineapple tidbits. And um, see if I can find a we tidbit. used some fresh Georgia local shrimp and uh, a little chipotle seasoning. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? The cornstarch and teriyaki slurry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a really simple dish, inexpensive, but hearty. And uh -huh. if you have a shrimp allergy in your family, you could easily substitute chicken or you could use pork or you could yes. use steak, whatever his it is. his wife does have a shrimp allergy. She does have a shrimp allergy. All right, so you have given us options, Bobby, on what to top it with, what right. to garnish. Mm -hmm. And one of your suggestions is Peanut. chopped peanuts yeah. along with cilantro. Speaking so of allergies. <laughs> Peanuts and shrimp. If you, survive if you the got shrimp, somebody you're that you really Make sure love. you know who you're serving this to before you serve it. But that's giving you like a little bit of a Thai flair. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And the cilantro would take it, take it, uh, you know, in a whole different there. So oh. a little, par a little parsley sprinkled on top, or a little cilantro sprinkled okay, on top. Okay, so here you go, son. Would, Taste uh, your dish. Would be, would be great. And, uh, and listen, Michael and I fight all the time, y'all. Well, you should go see somebody. About, <laughs> about tails on mm. or tails off. Mm, mm, mm. I want my tails on. Mm. I want to have something to pick up my shrimp by. Mm. Michael said, nope, get rid of the tails. Give me an extra shrimp. Mm. <laughs> well, that is excellent. It is good. I love it. Okay. I love it. I'm going to get in here and taste your sauce, well, that's okay? that's going to be super hot. Now, be careful. Okay. Scald your little mouth. Call it in best <laughs> if you be love. Call it I think my son is smart mouthing me. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. A little bit. Careful. That's real hot. Mm-hmm. But it's real good. Isn't it great? Mm-hmm. Mm. So... For my mama Paula Dean, Love I'm pineapple. Bobby Dean. This is the stir fry suppers from uh, the Bobby Lightens It Up section of um, Chipotle my is my y'all. My mama's magazine, Cooking with Paula Dean, which I vote should be the name of the show. Loving Best Dishes is cute, but I think the name of the show should be Cooking with Paula Dean. Bobby, just so Do you, you know see, that you voted. Teresa, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm. I just you to know why we came up with the well, this is me voting, okay? <laughs> I like consistency. Woo! Cooking with Paula Dean. That chipotle it is hot, Bobby. So, until next time, <laughs> I'm Bobby Dean. This is my mama Paula Dean. It's love and best dishes. Come back and see us tomorrow. We're cooking with Bobby Dean. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.